when they puffed into the yard, they saw something that was very, very frightening. It was Diesel 10. Diesel 10 was big and strong, and he had a crunching, crushing claw. Thomas and Percy watched. The giant claw crushed the iron and steel. It looked very scary. Later, Thomas came across Diesel 10 again. Diesel 10 was helping to clear the block tracks. His giant claw lifted the heavy metal into freight cars. Thomas puffed quickly away. He didn't want to be near Diesel 10 or his crushing, crunching claw. Thomas wanted to tell Diesel 10 about the meeting. But as he got closer and closer, Thomas got frightened, and he puffed quickly away. He was sure Diesel 10 would never work with the Steamies anyway. Diesel 10 was very scary. But asking him to help was the only way to save the airport. Thomas needed to be very brave. Excuse me, Thomas puffed nervously. Diesel 10 growled loudly. Uh, excuse me, Thomas puffed again. What do you want? snapped Diesel 10. Thomas told Diesel 10 all about the block track. Why would I help a steamy? He grumbled. Because if the airplane doesn't land, there will be no vacationers, puffed Thomas. Then none of the engines will be useful. Hmm, maybe I will help later. But we need your help now, puffed Thomas, or all of the engines will have worked for nothing. You'll be the most useful engine of all, Thomas added. Mm, all right, Snow Diesel 10. I will help. Thomas was glad he had asked Diesel 10. Diesel 10 was grumpy. But like all the engines, he still wanted to be useful. The workmen had men... Thomas and Diesel 10 were puffing as fast as they could. 